Hi guys, welcome to my video. My name is Anneli Samhlongo Ususom Dala Molwen Babim. I miss saying that and it's been a long time but I think I just didn't have any time to shoot any videos but today lucky enough I did and today was a trip with my family where we had to go to um, Mitchell's Park Zoo. Okay, this was my mother's idea. Let me not take that uh, crown for it. But she was the one who was always interested to go and see places, to go and see the birds there. And um, I said, okay, it's fine, let's go. Um, so uh, it has a park and also a free park where you can play and have parties. And also there's this part where it is the zoo with the birds. So we've already entered in the gate and it's very cheap. I don't know, maybe it's cheap because it's still winter and uh, there's not a lot of people or it's always cheap. I'm not sure, but it was very, very reasonable. Let me say that um, for an adult, I think it was like 12 rand and for a child less than uh, two years, it's free. So I... I didn't know that this experience will be so mind uh, blowing uh, the birds are so 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 beautiful I think this I think this trip taught me something that we don't have to travel don't have to take uh, planes to go to other places to just go and see these areas they are in South Africa and they are at a reasonable price that is my daughter my little Milo running there and she was also excited she couldn't close her mouth she was busy saying wow 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 because it was really wow so uh, i think as south africans we have to start um experiencing these things we have to go to places we have to just experience the beauty of south africa we have once in a while to just become tourists and look at our stuff and not wait to travel a very long distance so that we can um go to see uh birds for example look at this one look at this bird i think this bird is an inspiration for um it's an inspiration for a wedding dress so i had to take a selfie with the bird hey bird okay 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 we see you lady we see you okay then we moved on so it's just mostly a bird park yeah i think it is a bird park you may not say mostly it is a bird park it's just that it has other things but most of the things that you see at that place is birds and then i did see a reptile oh those lovely birds okay the next thing it was the i don't know don't stick your finger don't i don't i don't know what is that but it looks like a little bush baby bush baby yeah then we went on what is this now child what is this I don't know what I was looking at people I don't know but oh yeah okay then we moved on to some birds those birds were beautiful those were uh, like sort of like parrots but they were beautiful different kinds of parrots they were beautiful then see me walking we see you girl walk walk show us something show us something we need to see something we need to see something we need to see something girl girl oh then these were the stuff the shows the peacocks because my mom was interested to see the peacock opening up its um what is it it's feather but it but sorry mom it didn't happen on this trip but maybe next time but yeah, we were so close and personal with the peacocks. We're just looking at them, the different kinds. We have the blue, which is the male apparently, and then the white, which is the female. So I wasn't aware that the one with the beautiful tail is a female, and the is a male, sorry. And the one in white is the female. Hmm. Very interesting though. 
I had some time to admire the peacock. I just loved the black and I don't know blue color of the peacock. So I I just stood there and admired them walking. Then I tried to follow them. I followed the peacocks. Just to look at their tails, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the white one on the side. It also has this long beautiful tail and it's also a male. Wow. <laughs> okay. Admire with me. Let's admire the peacocks. I went closer. I was like, I'm risking my life just to see that beauty. Look at that tail, guys. Even when it's closed, it's still beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to stop here at the peacock station. <laughs> but yeah, I was still admiring the peacocks. I love them. Then we moved on to the parrots. We love these parrots because at home we had a toy parrot like this. So we we're just like, oh wow, it looks exactly the same as the toy one that we have at home. And we tried to talk to the peacock to the parrots, I'm sorry, but then they didn't want budging. So look at that white one. Okay, it was busy eating on wood there. I tried to zoom in so that I could see what it was doing. I zoomed in and next stop was the rabbit. Ugh, the rabbit. Hi rabbit. Rabbit. It's not Easter yet. It's not your time. We move. Then I looked at the okay. I don't know what the rabbits were doing, but yeah, they were chilling. They were having a chill session. There's different kinds also of rabbits. If you want to take your kids so that they can see rabbits. Then there was this thing. It loved taking videos and I had to run. I had to run. It was it was too serious to take videos. I ran. Sorry guys. Next thing it was the tortoise. The big tortoise. Oh, this was big. I was never this close and personal with the tortoise. Tortoise. I wanted I wanted to, to take a picture of the tortoise face. Show me your face, tortoise. 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 Okay, then we saw the tortoise. We saw another tortoise, yeah. We were just sitting there and chilling and just I don't know sun sunbathing I think because yeah they we're just chilling there we just looked at them we're like oh, okay oh then that one stole the star of the show yeah, it, had, it had a yawn and we were so excited ah, it's yawning it's yawning <laughs> it was yawning guys yeah that's the tortoise that's the tortoise Hey, man. Then we continued and then we looked at a lot of other things at the at the zoo. I almost said the farm, but at the zoo. Yeah, that's all for today. And I hope that when you come to Durban, or if you are in Durban, you can go to the zoo and enjoy yourself. Bye. Step one. Wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Some life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. 
Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like